NBC 15 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals, certified most accurate forecast by weather rate. All of a sudden, it is Tropical Storm Ida, the ninth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. It is between the Cayman Islands and Jamaica with winds of 40 miles an hour. The motion is toward the northwest at 14. Here's a forecast projection from the National Hurricane Center for the center of the storm. It keeps that northwest track going from Friday into Saturday, becoming a strong tropical storm and then getting it to the Gulf of Mexico. Notice the winds projected to go to 100, 110 miles an hour before landfall. This is Sunday, sometime Sunday, potentially making landfall either in Louisiana, maybe coastal Mississippi. For those of us in the NBC 15 area, even though we're not in the cone, the cone is for the center. And if the center tracks across Mississippi, that means we are in the direct side of the highest impact for wind, storm surge, and also the threat of tornadoes. So don't just focus on the center of that cone. Look at the big picture. The big picture is this is three days away, and that means there's still a lot of mystery as to exactly where the center will cross land. And even the wind projection I just showed you, 110, you have to do plus or minus 15 miles an hour to account for the uncertainty. So right now projected to go in at 110, maybe a category three with winds higher than that, hopefully lower than that, but we've got a plan for right now what we're dealing with, which is a threat of a strong storm. Notice the water temperature, the darker colors right off of Louisiana, Mississippi, that's where it's warmest. And that means as it approaches land, there's nothing in terms of water temperature that's going to stop it. And you look at this projection of wind shear where you see red, that's high wind shear, which will sort of weaken a storm. It's going to take a path where there is not much wind shear. So in other words, there's nothing foreseeable that will stop it from growing. We have to watch it day by day. Each day gives us new data. Here's one computer projection that takes it toward the Louisiana coast very quickly. We're talking Sunday afternoon, a possible landfall. Now the watches are going to be issued tomorrow. The watches will tell you which part of the coast will likely feel the hurricane force winds and the tropical storm force winds. And this one model is just for an, it's an illustration. It is not the only scenario, but it does show once it makes landfall, it keeps going. And then that set steady south wind continues to produce rain, the threat of tornadoes and the heaviest rain amounts eight, 10, 12, 16 inches around Lake Pontchartrain. Notice as you get toward Jackson, Mississippi, four to eight inches of rain, which will be pretty possible along the Highway 98 corridor, four to eight inches of rain. A foot possible for coastal Mississippi. Lower amounts once you're into Monroe and Connecticut counties. We want to know the wind, the surge, the rain, the tornado threat, but we won't know that until we know these three things. And that means we have to figure out, is this going to be small, medium, large, weak, medium, strong? There are a lot of combinations here. So it's all about preparing for the worst scenario in your location. So let me just show you two models as a comparison. I showed you this one a moment ago. Sunday evening, eight o'clock, puts the center right over New Orleans. But here's a second model and it doesn't matter which one it is. The point is you're going to see different model projections and this is the uncertainty. Will it actually be well south of the coast of Louisiana? That works better for us in the NBC 15 area, but it doesn't work well for southwestern Louisiana where they dealt with Laura last year. Louisiana had four tropical systems. Two disturbances out in the Atlantic. Ida is current. The next two names on the list will be Julian and Kate, it is a lot to keep up with. This will be similar though, you see that radar in your seven day tracker. What's similar is we'll keep our rain coverage 60, 70% next two days, but Sunday will be the day to really be on guard and Sunday and Monday could be our wettest days. NBC